everybody, Mr. Rogue Shark here, back with another video. And, well, you know what? Let's scratch that. Originally, this was going to be a video comparing guns, you know, revolvers, semi automatic, and the price range and what you could get, you know, and give you more bang for your buck. But I just started thinking, looking at these guns, I had them for a while, and um, it just hit me that I've been prepping for a long time, you know? I've been at this for a long, long time, and it started me to wondering, you know, how I got started, you know what I mean? And some of you out here probably have wondered in the back of your heads, where did prepping start for you? Was it that first gun you bought? Was it that um, first, you know, hurricane you were in that caught you, you know, with your pants down, and you vowed never to be caught again unaware? Where did prepping start for you? Um, I look back over my life and had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of, um, a lot of turmoil, but I also had a lot of successes. I've been blessed with a lot of family that has helped me out. I've been blessed with good friends. I've been blessed with good health. Um, I've been blessed in a lot of ways, you know? So for every negative I count, I can always count two or three positives, two or three blessings, so to speak. And I guess I've been prepping for, wow, since I've been maybe, 11, 12 years old. Um, the reason why I say that is because I was blessed to have a family that was really, really, really close to their grandparents. And my grandparents had come up in the um, American Depression. And for those of you who don't have grandparents or those of you who, you know, have no idea what I'm talking about, um, the Amer on the American side of the Depression, you know, the Great Depression, it was a really, really tough time. And my grandfather would often talk about the importance of having food, having water, not just simply up and throwing away your clothes, maybe putting a thread or two in them to keep the jeans together, um, not always running out to buy the latest pair of tennis shoes because you have the money. Maybe it's best to use the ones you have and save the money, you know what I mean? Um, that's been many, many years ago. And growing up in a household where these conversations were the norm, you know, it, it really, really got into my mental psyche and it kind of got set on the back burner. And, you know, I always carried it around with me inside. Um, you know, I, I went on to do many things in life and, you know, from wearing a uniform to serve in the country and all that. And I'm not going to get into what branch or anything. I don't want to turn this video into a who's better than who kind of thing. But, um, you know, I, I, I've been around. I've been around. And I just, you know, looking at these guns right here. Um, this one right here, my favorite, of course, my baby, my 1911. And for those of you who know Mr. Rogue Shark, you know that my safety is always this right here. Safety on, safety off. Safety on, safety off. Um, I keep my guns loaded. Uh, and this right here, this old guy right here, is actually my grandfather's gun, or was my grandfather's gun back when he was alive. Um, straight, no nonsense revolver, uh, chambered in uh, 38 Special. So, you know, made by Taurus, I think. Um, it's an older gun, you know, been around the block a few times, but uh, definitely something I'm going to keep and hold on to because you're looking at a, um, I don't want to say family heirloom in the sense of. It's going to be passed down from generation to generation, but it's something that, you know, I plan on keeping and maybe giving off to, you know, other people in the future if that need ever arises. Uh, actually, this is the first handgun I ever shot, to be honest with you. Um, we were out in the country, and he took us out shooting. I think I was maybe uh, 13 years old, first handgun I ever shot. Shot a rifle at the age of 10, first handgun at 13. So there you go. And uh, below that, you've got a um, Ruger Lightweight uh, 38 Special Plus P, which means it can fire 357 rounds. It's also got a laser on here. Um, I don't know if you can see that laser or not. It's a little bright. It's got a laser on there. Not a bad little gun. I keep this as a backup. So my 45. If things get up close and personal, or you know, I get separated from my primary handgun, which is my 1911. And uh, I gotta use that. But um, like I said, the start out as a gun video, and it was gonna cover the guns and the prices and the specs and all that.
but I started wondering, I started thinking about you as the viewer. Where did prepping start for you? You know, what got you into prepping? Was it family members? Um, I mentioned earlier, were you caught in a storm or anything and you weren't prepared the first time? Then you vowed the second time or after it happened again, you would be prepared. I mean, when did prepping start for you as an individual? Has it always been a part of your family? You know, were you a Boy Scout? Were you military? And from there, you just carried it on? Were you um, just a regular guy, regular gal who opened up a YouTube channel and decided to start prepping one day? I mean, what really got you into it? So please, give me your video responses. Give me your comments. Let me know. Um, you know, let me know what happened. Let me know what made you prep. I'm asking you to be as honest as possible and as open as possible. Uh, you don't have to um, share your life story or anything, but by all means, you know, let me know where prepping started for you. And as always, please comment, please subscribe. Mr. Rogue Shark, stay focused and stay sharp.